Yeah, yep. perfect. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time today. The first thing I want to say is the mood in camp seems very positive. Mm -hmm. Are you still on a high after that six win at the Philippines? Uh, I think we're down on the ground now, uh, basically. So, uh, but it was a good win. We take the energy with us, but still we're very realistic about uh, Japan. They're a really good team, so can't wait for the game. Speaking of Japan, they've not conceded a goal yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know it's a strong team, so uh, we need to take care of that and be smart. Think about the result and may not be the finest football, but still, we just need to win. <laughs> Yeah, we always talk about the potential in our team. Uh, it's really big, uh, but we need to show it on the pitch. It doesn't matter what we talk about or what we do. We need to really show it on the pitch. There's been quite a lot of upsets as well at the tournament. Mm -hmm. South Africa, <laughs> even last night. Yeah. Being Italy, what have you made of the level of the tournament? Uh, it's really exciting because you see the uh, bigger nations, they uh, struggle against the uh, other teams. And it's just a lot of fun. It's entertainment. And uh, yeah, it's just really good to see that everything can happen. So. Mm. And last one for me, your by no means a small nation, but Opto giving you a 20% chance of beating Japan in the mm -hmm. game. Yes. If you do win, that will be an upset. Are you hoping to join the long list of upsets? <laughs> yeah, we really do. Uh, I like to be underdog, so uh, it's going to be fun to see if we can do that. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your time today. The feeling in the camp feels very positive, especially today. Are you still riding high from that 6 0 win? Uh, yeah, obviously it was a good, a good it was a good win. Uh, but then at the same time, we need to look forward, and we need to look forward to the game against Japan. Uh, we've been working good in training today and feeling ready. Yeah, and speaking of Japan, they've obviously impressed so far at the tournament, haven't conceded a goal. How are you approaching that game? Yeah, obviously it's a tough opponent. Everyone sees that they haven't conceded, like you say. Uh, but then at the same time, you see in the World Cup now, Brazil got knocked out yesterday. It Italy as well, and Colombia won against Germany, and nobody thought that would be possible. So I feel like we have every possibility on Saturday and we just have to focus on ourselves. It might take a moment of magic to get past them considering they have conceded a goal. And obviously we know that you're capable of that considering your goal against the Bayern Munich in the Champions League. <laughs> Is that in your mind at all when you approach the game? Yeah, obviously I feel like we have uh, goal scorers on the pitch, which is important uh, up front there. We have players that score a lot of goals in their own clubs as well during the whole season, which gives us that confidence boost going into that game. But obviously, like you say, it's hard when a team haven't conceded a goal, but we want to be the first one to score against Japan and uh, find, a way to, find a way to score against them. And there's been a lot of talk about this being the golden generation of this team. That 6 0 win kind of only boosts kids so the singles. What's your take on that? Against uh, with Japan, you mean? I like just this team having so much Champions League experience, like your team yeah, being sorry, the golden sorry. generation. Uh, yeah, obviously, with uh, we have young players that perform well out there, especially in the Champions League now and even in big, big leagues and big. Yeah, teams. Uh, so I feel like we have every possibility to build on that. And I feel like you saw that a big bit against Philippines, that we create a lot of chances together. And we just want to go out on Saturday and do that again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it really windy or is it okay?